so welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little cooking video. And for the new year, I've decided to cook a little more. So in my intent to cook a little more, I figure I will share a little more of my cooking. I am not a great cook. I don't like cooking really, but sometimes it's necessary. Like I can't go out to eat all the time. Um, and Penelope really does love my cooking. So I'm trying to just cook a little more for her. Uh, since I became single, I, I've, if you've been following me since I was with Tone, you know that I used to cook every single day. I was a homemaker, so that's what I did. I cooked every day meals. Um, but once I became single, I was like, I don't really care what I eat. Um, and then just cooking for P was really easy. So, I mean, she eats pretty like normal bland food, like chicken and broccoli and maybe rice, like, I just wasn't planning out meals and making them because it was just me and I don't like cooking that much. That's that's the truth. So this year I figure I need to start cooking a little more. I need to start like eating a little healthier because my motto for the end of the year last year was do it. Eat whatever you want. Who cares? You'll lose the weight later. But I have gained some weight and honestly I just feel like I just need to eat more at home. So in my intent to, to cooking more, I'm going to be sharing little small like cooking videos. This one, this meal, I have shared before, probably older, older videos. Uh, I don't wanna say that it's super healthy, but it's something that my mom always makes and it's easy to do. And Penelope loves it. This is Penelope's probably like favorite thing to eat. So we're gonna be making some jasmine rice, which you guys know I always like to have. It's nice and healthy and I love jasmine rice. Rice? Jasmine rice? Jasmine rice, yes. There's no jasmine rice. There's all jasmine rice. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna be making jasmine rice and then we're gonna be making, it's kind of like a, no I don't know, I call it Spanish chili, but it's just ground beef with either you could do beans or chickpeas. Uh, I don't know which one I have in the fridge in the in my pantry, either chickpeas or beans, but you could do it with either or. I've done it with both and they're both really good. And Penelope likes chickpeas, so she'll eat it with the chickpeas or with the beans. I think I have beans and I would like to do it with beans because I've been eating a lot of like hummus in chickpea salad. So I would like to make it with beans, but it's super easy to make. Um, let's just go ahead and get started. I'll tell you everything you need and just follow the steps and I hope you guys enjoy it. It's a super easy meal. I like to pair it with a salad or I mean, if you wanna make it less healthy, you could do like some sweet plantains that is go it goes really good with this. But I personally like to do it with some type of salad. A lot of times I will skip the rice if I'm trying to really watch what I'm eating. I'll just eat the ground beef with the uh, beans and then just skip the rice and just eat a salad on the side. So it's up to you. I'm gonna share you what I do. Super easy, super simple, and super yummy. Let's get started. Okay guys, so here's everything you need. Pepper, salt, complete seasoning, garlic powder, jasmine rice, either kidney beans or garbanzo beans, your ground beef, pepper, onion, tomato, and I use the green onion for my rice. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm sharing how I make my rice one more time. First thing I do is add olive oil to my pan. Then I cut uh, some scallion, the white part of the scallion really small in there and i know you guys get nervous that i cut this on my finger but i'm so used to it i don't really ever cut myself so if you feel like you want to do it on the chopper go ahead and do that but as you can tell here i will fry these up you just have to keep an eye on them because they fry up really quick and you don't want them to get burned because they'll make your rice taste really bad so i like to have my water ready right next to me so when i see that they're getting golden brown i'll go ahead and add my water right away so as you can see, I do really full cups of water. So this time I'm making a cup and a half. I like to make extra so we have it um, for other days. But as you can tell, for a cup and a half of rice, I use two full cups of water. And this last one, which you can't see that much, is like three quarters of the cup full. So not full all the way. And then to salt my water, I use a half a teaspoon of salt. And this salts up my water perfectly. Then the last thing I do, which you don't have to do, is I add some garlic powder and then I go ahead and mix everything up. And then once that's done, I taste the water. You wanna make sure that your water is saltier than what you would want your rice to be. That way the rice will come out perfect. So once I taste my water and I know it's good, I'll go ahead and add my rice. 
it makes everything up and here I'm showing you I don't keep it at a really high I keep it as a medium high because you don't want it to cook too quickly because then it won't cook all the way through so while my rice is cooking I'm gonna go ahead and start in the sofrito that I'm going to use for my beans and beef and for this I am adding into my little chopper tomato red pepper and onion and if you have fresh garlic you could go ahead and add that too I just didn't have any so I'm just using the powder garlic but um, if I would have had some fresh garlic I would have added this too and again you could chop this by hand this little chopper I love it it's a lifesaver and it's like 10 bucks on Amazon or 15 bucks something like that but I'll link it down below it's amazing and you can make your veggies as finely chopped as you want or chunkier it's up to you so once I'm done with that, I'm checking on my rice and as you could tell, there's still some water in it, but it's getting pretty dry at this point. So before I cover it, I'll go ahead and go in with a fork. You want to do this with a fork because the fork will fluff up your rice as opposed to a spoon. So I'm just forking it with a fork to fluff it up. And once all the water is soaked up, I am going to go ahead and bring it down to low and cover my rice. And that's when it will finish cooking for another like 15 to 20 minutes. So now we're gonna go ahead and start on the meat and I'm adding the tiniest bit of olive oil and adding my ground beef. Of course, you wanna make sure you're chopping it up with your spatula and now we're gonna go ahead and season it. So to this, I am adding a lot of my complete seasoning. This seasoning I love, I use it for everything. It's a very light seasoning, doesn't have any salt on it. So it's really good. I'm also adding some garlic powder and again you could skip this if you don't like garlic or you could put as much as you want I don't really have measurements so I just wing it um, then I'm adding pepper and I am NOT adding any salt because my mom says that it makes the meat tough so I just wait to add the salt at the end so once I have that I'll continue to chop my meat and then I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of cumin um, I love cumin my mom hates it so whenever she's not here I make it with cumin I love cumin so you could skip this if you don't like it, but I think it gives meat a really nice taste. That cook, and this step you could skip. I just don't like the extra fat. So ground beef has a lot of fat, and usually I would get really lean uh, ground beef, but because the grass fed only comes 80-20, um, it still has a lot of fat. So I just drain some of that fat. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move the meat to the side and I'm gonna add our sofrito, our mixture of peppers, tomatoes, and onions to the middle. And to this, I'm also gonna go ahead and add the same seasonings that I added to the meat. So the complete seasoning, the salt, I mean the pepper, the garlic powder, and I will be adding salt now because the meat is almost cooked and I want all of this to taste delicious. So I am adding salt to everything at this point. And while that keeps cooking, I drain my beans and then I'm gonna go ahead and just add them to the mixture. So once I have drained my beans, I'm gonna go ahead and add them to the meat. And once I do this, I like to bring this down to a medium low, just because you don't want it to get super dry. You want it to have some of those juices in it. And then me and P will have a little dance party. She's been obsessed with Feeling Good As Hell from Lizzo. It's like her new favorite song and she wants me to dance with her all the time. So that's what we're doing. And this is what it looks like after it's cooked for a little bit. If you see that it's getting too dry, bring the heat lower and you could add a little bit of water. The only secret is add the seasonings to your water and mix it up and add it to it. That way it's not making your meat and beans really watery. Um, and then here's the rice. It's all done. And again, before I serve it, I like to go in with a fork to fluff it up. But this is what it looks like. This was our meals. Penelope loves avocado with it. So I just went ahead and added that to hers. All right, guys, that is it. This is our meal. And we're actually having it. It's three. We're having it kind of for like lunch. We had breakfast really late. So this will be our lunch. And I have leftovers for tomorrow because that's the one thing about cooking is that I make one meal and then I have leftovers for the next day. But super easy meal, super good. Penelope loves it and I hope you guys think it's good. Let me know if you try it. If you do try it and you're on Instagram, take a picture, tag me on it. Let me know what you think. Again, super easy, wholesome meal and I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more of this little easy cooking videos and i'll make sure i make some and i love you guys see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and i'll see you next time